So this is how it looks in the daylight. So fresh. Hi, Assalamu Alaikum and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do this simple, easy daytime Eid look which is super wearable on any outfit that you want to select, be it any color, it does not matter. This shade and this eye look goes with every single dress. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. For that, we need to get onto our makeup chair. So I have already moisturized my face and I have applied sunscreen. Okay, now let's go and prime our face. For primer, I'm going to use the Essence Hello Good Stuff. It's a face primer. Whenever you use a primer, whether it's a tube or a bottle, shake the primer well. Because primers are normally infused with oils and that is the reason when you open it for the first time, you may get a little bit of oil. So let's see. This really smells good. Huh? This really smells good. And it's very, very hydrating. I'm going to just apply a little bit under my eyes. Same thing for the foundation. I'm going to use a tinted foundation. This is from Essence again. Hello, good stuff. I'm going to shake the uh, foundation and it's in the shade 20 medium. It did not have too many shades so I just got the one I felt it is suited for my skin but I just feel it's going to be a little dark. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to dab it all over my face. Let's take our beauty sponge and let's you can always use another full coverage foundation, whatever you prefer, but because it's a daytime look and I'm going to be home, so I didn't want it to kind of do too much of foundation look. So this is how it looks. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to conceal, which is very important. I'm just going to set the under eye with the Essence Brighten Up Powder. This will help just brighten up a little under the eye as well. I'm going to just slightly bronze my face with the Physician Butter Bronzer. Very slightly, not too heavy. Please ignore the redness on my face is because of the heat. For blush, I'm going to use the Sheen blush. So cute it is. I don't know, do I really need a blush right now? Just going to take my beauty sponge and just melt it all. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Milani Bake Highlighter. But I'm going to use it very lightly. I'm going to do the eyebrows off camera with the NYX brow uh, pencil and the essence. I'm going to set it with the essence. Okay, I'll be back. Eyebrows is done and I just filled in the gaps that were there and kept it very natural looking. So now let's move on to the eyes. So because it's a daytime look, I'm going to keep it very simple and for that I'm going to use this Milani palette. It's got these beautiful shades. You can do a very neutral look with it. You can do a little movie look with it. It's a very nice and everyday kind of a palette as well. I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna use this shade, which is very light shade. And I'm just going to swipe it all on my lid just so that I have a very even color. Then I'm going to take this darker shade of pink mauve, okay, and apply it in my, apply it as a transition shade and I'm also going to apply it as a complete lid color. So I'll start as a transition shade. Okay, 
now it's a very beautiful color it has a nice uh, speck of glitters in it taking little by little so that you know i don't get too much color on the lid but i'm just going to color my entire lid with this color once you have the color on the entire lid dip your brush again okay and only at the corner of your lid just apply it in a circular motion sweep swipe the sorry swipe the color inwards and then circular motion so you're going to get this transition effect transition um transition effect let's quickly do the same thing here so i start with the inner corner and then drag the color inside i have done the same thing to the other eye and see how beautiful this looks by itself if you want to keep it like this you can always keep it like this but let's go ahead and do some extra now with a pencil brush i am confused between this or this color mm, i think i'll go with this color that the extra and apply it right at your lash line this basically will work as an eyeliner for your eyes can you see how pretty it looks once you have smudged the uh, darker shade i'm going to take an angular brush and i'm going to dip it in that same color and just slightly wing it and whatever is excess on the brush just dab it again on the line now now let's do the same thing over here I'm take a softer pencil brush okay and uh, i'm going to use this shade and this shade i'm just going to take the lighter shade first you so much fun out Okay, and just dab it here. The darker shade, and I'm going to start with the outer corner first, and then drag the color inside. Start with the outer corner and drag the color inside. On a pencil brush, the darker shade that we applied, I'm just going to take a little bit and at the edge just smudge both. the upper and the lower lash line together okay right at the corner only so that it looks connected now just to give the inner corner some definition i'm going to use the urban decay heavy metal uh, eyeliner okay and i'm going to put it in the inner corners just little bit for the spark that's it my eyes are never complete without a kajal i'm going to apply the rimmel scandal kajal in the lower and upper lash line so this is the eye complete did you see how easy it was to create this look we did nothing we just used two or three colors and we created this matte finished look and personally it looks very nice is because it's got little sparks of glitters in it so when you turn around it kind of gives that nice shine effect mascara i'm going to use the essence i love extreme mascara this is really good mascara let's do i don't apply falsies you all know by now I'm just going to give it. I've already curled my lashes. I normally curl my lashes off camera because I'm very scared when it comes to curling my lashes. So don't assume that I don't curl my lashes. It's just that I prefer doing it off camera so that I'm more careful. So this is how my lashes look. Do you really need extra? 
for lips i'm gonna use a mac lip liner which is in salt i'm gonna line my lips i have this milani lip color which is really very nice but it just matches what i'm wearing as in on my eyes what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the my ring finger and i'm just going to dab it on my lips and for the final touch my next two weeks i think spray So this is the entire look. I hope you like it. It's so easy to do and so wearable. You can either wear it in daytime. If you want to wear it with in nighttime, you can always add a little glitter that we use in the inner corner to just do, you know, just go a little bit on the. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell. And I love you all. Eid Mubarak to everybody who's celebrating Eid. And be home, be safe, and I love you all. Take care. Bye.